Hey Pisces, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This reading will be for your spiritual growth mid-February 2019. This is the first one I'm doing of this. So let's see what we got. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hmm. There is some, some, some celebration that you should be aware of. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for spiritual growth for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? February 15th through February the 28th, 2019. What guidance do we have for Pisces in regards to their spiritual growth? February the 15th through February the 28th, 2019. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have. Patience and planning. Some of you guys need to be making some plans. You need to be setting some things in motion. Seven of Pentacles. You've been stuck for a while here. You've been stuck. You've been into yourself. You've been doing a whole lot of thinking here. But now there's a chance for you to find some material and spiritual prosperity. But you have to have the spiritual strength to leave the past in the past. And work toward new partnerships and new alliances. You're trapped in fear. You have these self-imposed restrictions that you need to move away from. You don't have to be strapped. You don't have to be trapped anymore. You don't have to be trapped in solitude anymore. Fine. It's okay to be alone in solitude, but it's not okay to be lonely. You're not lonely. Some of you guys need to sacrifice feeling stuck emotionally. You need to sacrifice being stuck emotionally so that you can move forward. Okay? Six of Pentacles here, material and spiritual prosperity, finding balance. It could be a new opportunity. Some of you guys, this is taking a long time, but you got to make the decision to get out of conflict so that you can gain that. Again, making pace, making plans to move away from whatever is keeping you stuck. Spiritual strength here, finding the spiritual strength to let go of the past. You're in conflict about something new. Five of Swords here, Ace of Wands. In conflict about something new. Two of Wands at a crossroad here about moving forward. So you are in conflict. Some of you guys are finding the spiritual strength strength to get out of this conflict to go towards something new memories of love here to let go of the past ace of wands this could also be someone from the past that you're coming into partnership with but there's a shift someone understands their um so you understand your purpose you understand your passion so some of you guys are really shifting awareness shifting away from the past going into new partnerships new alliances Wanting to move into new partnerships, Empress, yeah. Wanting to move into to new partnerships and alliances. But you do have to escape this feeling of being stuck. Some of you guys may be needing to open up your heart space so that you can move forward, but you're trapped in fear. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Trapped in fear here. Yep, 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 yep. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups. Needing to move toward. So you're moving toward a new opportunity, clearly. It's clear that you need to move toward a new opportunity. There's a clear new opportunity here for you, but you have some anxiety about making the decision to get away from the past, making the decision to end whatever was before and find your balance to go toward this spiritual and material prosperity. So some of you guys got a brand spanking new opportunity to bring some prosperity into your life, um, but you're resting because you're afraid remove that fear it's time to move away from solitude some of you guys are moving away from solitude moving away from feeling discontent bored you're manifesting something new it's time to manifest something new it's time to move towards something new moving away you've manifested being single you've made the decision here may not be speaking about it but you've made the decision you're in solitude now and you're not happy with that so some of you guys are really needing to work on getting out of this solitude work on getting out of the imbalances that you have six of swords moving forward six of swords will of fortune moving forward you're not happy right now why is discontentment and boredom emotionally you feel stuck that is some of you guys are, su are sacrificing being stuck because you know it's time it's time for you to move forward now six of wands nine of wands you're fighting for your freedom you're fighting for your pride you're fighting for your focus heart chakra some of you guys are not holding on to the past anymore you're opening up your heart chakra sacrificing the past you know that you got to let it go so some of y'all are letting go of the past planning to move forward releasing the burdens you know the time is now you know the time is now. Okay. So let's see what guidance we have. 
<laughs> all right then that was quick easy to the point because y'all are making plans and moving forward i don't want to be unhappy no more i don't want to be feeling defeated no more i don't want to go through all these obstacles these challenges spiritually you know it's time to move on so what guidance do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus guidance for pisces sun moon rising and venus what guidance do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus i'm using the eyes through the looking art through the eyes of the looking glass of soul oracle um i don't know let's see art through the eyes of the soul oracle you know how the the lettering disappears off the front so i can see it you need to understand that you are cherished and protected okay here embrace enlightenment and let peace prevail so some of you guys need to confront your opposite polarity meaning face your shadow self move forward release the fears it's time to move forward it's time to move forward that's all i have pisces peace y'all